You ever had a thought of what would you do if Pokemon was real? And if you were to travel throughout your life, who would you have on your team? And then this led me to think, if I was limited to five Pokemon, who would I want? And there are so many great Pokemon in the Kanto region, it would be hard just to list off five that I would like on my team. And of course, I'd love to hear what five Pokemon you guys would have on your team as well, if Pokemon was real, from the Kanto region, of course. What is poppin' everybody? My name is Fainatax, and in this video, I will be listing off five Pokemon that would be best to have in real life. If you guys do find yourself enjoying the video, of course, hit the thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more content. But let's go ahead and jump right in with the video. First off on my list, I think it's gotta be Dratini. Now, Dratini is one of the cutest Pokemon in the Kanto region, and did you know that the dex entry for this Pokemon in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee states that this Pokemon was only recently confirmed by a fisherman who caught one? You imagine actually bringing one home and just saying, hey, this ain't a magic up this time, look at what I found. Although it can evolve into one of the strongest base stat Pokemon in the Kanto region, I'd rather a Dratini as I'm a huge fan of its design. Its shiny form is super cute, it's one of the best in the whole region. I'm not too sure where they went wrong with Dragonite though. Now, when I'm home in England, the weather is always cold. And no matter what, even our summers are cold as well. Now, I wonder if there was a Pokemon that could fix all that. And like, I want to feel like I'm on a beach somewhere, drinking like a soda pop or two. You know, and I had the greatest idea. Now, Exeggutor. Now, Exeggutor would be a perfect fit for a Pokemon to have on a cold winter day because it gets the move Sunny Day. And I'm sat outside of my lounge chair with Exeggutor right by my side, and it's like I'm on a beach in Miami. If you're a fan of the hot weather, then he is perfect for the job. Remember when it gets exposed to too much sunlight, it actually turns into a palm tree. A Lolan Exeggutor would be amazing to have. It couldn't get any better. Exeggutor is a Pokemon you definitely would want to rock. I mean, if you do live in Miami, it's still alright, you get your own palm tree in your back garden. But hey, number 4 had to be Exeggutor on this list. Did you know there's a Pokemon that can run up to 150 miles per hour? And that's around 240 kilometers an hour. That is basically the same speed as a small plane. And the Pokemon that can do this is Rapidash. Now, there wouldn't be no need for public transportation or anything. You'd be able to just ride on the back of it. Now, if I was to have one, of course it would have to be a shiny. I caught a shiny Ponyta in Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu, and you can check that out in the card to the top right hand corner there. But his shiny form is one of my favorites in the Kanto region. Now, besides the whole shininess of the Pokemon, the flames on Rapidash's body would burn you, right? Well, no, he actually wouldn't. There is one scene in the Pokemon anime where Ash has to earn the trust of a Ponyta. Now, it would be good note to say that the fur or flames can get as hot as just real fire when they feel threatened. So if they can be hot, then they can just be a normal temperature as well, right? So you see Ash riding a Ponyta that evolves into a rapid Ash and wins him first place. The episode still to this day gives me goosebumps. So it's safe to say you would be fine if the rapid Ash trusted you. If not, well, it kind of get burnt to a crisp. But Rapidash would be an amazing Pokemon to have. 150 miles per hour could get you across the region any place, any time. Honestly, it'd be the best thing to have. You wouldn't need to ride on a bus, a car, anywhere. Just jump on your Rapidash and you're good to go. So we've already covered that the weather needs sorting with Exeggutor. We've already covered transportation on the grounds, of course, with Rapidash. But what, you know, if I'm wanting to go on holiday anywhere? My Rapidash obviously can't run across the sea, and of course, it, it, I don't want to pay for flights. Do you know how expensive they are? So I had a great thought. What about Golduck? The Pokedex entry in Pokemon Sapphire states that Golduck is the fastest swimming Pokemon of all time. Now, Golduck isn't that big of a Pokemon, of course standing at 5 foot 7. That's around 1.7 meters, but I'm sure I could fit on his back. I only weigh about 70 kilo, and I mean 154 pounds are about 11 stone. You know, I've got a cover for my American friends. Golduck is super an underrated Pokemon, in my eyes of course. If he was real, how easily could you get to the EU swimming on the back of him, or you could just jump on him to go take you to the States? I wouldn't need to pay for a ferry or a flight or anything, honestly. It'd be the best thing. Having a Golduck with you, you gotta plan this stuff out, my dudes. So we've already covered the fact that if it gets cold, I can use Exeggutor to keep me warm. And if I want to travel anywhere, I can just go on the back of Rapidash. But if I want to travel the seas, I can just bring out Golduck and I'm sorted. So who could be the final Pokemon to add to my team to finish this list off? I could have a Mewtwo and just go all out. 
I could have an Arcanine or a Charizard or Kabutops. But I think if it has to be anybody, it has to be Eevee. Now, of course, this may come to you as a surprise, but I'm a huge fan of Eevee. It is my favorite Pokemon in the Kanto games overall. But it's a funny story as to why it's my favorite. It's more on a personal level than it just been a super cute Pokemon. If you watch any of my Pokemon Let's Plays or live streams, you may have noticed that I always call my Eevee Willows whenever I get the chance to catch one. Well, Willow is actually the name of my dog. She's a brown husky who's been in my life for around 11 years now, and growing up, she's reminded me so much of her. So full of life, and it's always happy. She's always happy to see me, and of course, that's how I would feel if I had an Eevee in real life. Now, of course, it evolves into my favorite Pokemon being Umbreon, so it's a win-win on both ends. Eevee will always hold that special place in my heart because the bond that I share with the Pokemon is the same that I share with my own dog. And who wouldn't want an Eevee in real life? I mean, come on. All right, that's gonna wrap up the video right here. I wanted to make this list more personal and see what the Pokemon could do if it was living with me in my daily routine, rather than just having the legendary Pokemon of the region and just beating everybody I see. I wanted to make it more personal on how they would help us out. If you want to see a Johto version of this, make sure to leave a like, it really helps out the video and of course I would love to see your top 5 Pokemon you would have in real life down below in the comments section. My social media links are there as well and feel free to check them out and please do consider subscribing as I upload daily Pokemon content and more videos like this one you just watched are coming your way. Thanks so much for watching guys, be nice to each other, don't text and drive, and I'll see you guys back in a brand new video next time. Bye!